I wanted to do another quick video on this, on this subject, because I've actually done a few videos in the past, those of you who, who saw those, but this is, I'm doing this one in a different manner than I did the previous ones, and it's just going to confirm, further confirm, that Russia is not Magog, and this war, this conflict between uh, Russia and Ukraine is not the beginning of the Gog-Magog war. And to emphasize that, the reason you, what I'm seeing is all these false teacher and biblically illiterate people claim when they read Ezekiel chapter 37 and chapter 38, that's where the Gog-Magog war first is spoken of in the Old Testament. But the only way you actually find out when when that war occurs is if you go to Revelation chapter 20. Ezekiel 37 and 38 doesn't say when it happens, but Revelation chapter 20 verses 6 through 9 does. It's, it specifically says that it does not happen until the end of the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. So... What I'm seeing is all of these so-called Bible scholars claim that Russia is Magog, Gog and Magog. I'm going to show you unequivocally that it is not, and that they don't even know what, uh, even, even though they don't point out Revelation 20, they don't even know how to translate and understand and have discernment of the two chapters that they are referencing. In Ezekiel. So when we first start in Ezekiel 38, it names, Ezekiel names who they are. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. And actually, that was pronounced Thubal. Back in those days, it was it was pronounced Thubal, but most people pronounce it Tubal today. So it's clearly giving two very specific names, Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Again, there it is, Meshech and Tubal. <laughs> very specific so there is something that true bible scholars know which is called the table of nations very important it's called the table of nations and again in in these passages this is uh verse six ezekiel ch uh, chapter 38 verse six it names the people who are in concert and fighting alongside Meshech and Tubal are also Gomer and Togerma, Togerma Ma, of the north quarters and his bands and many people with thee. So these are the, the four names specifically given. Gomer, Togerma, and going back to Meshech and Tubal. That's the four specific names given in Ezekiel chapter 38. So there is the table of nations, and that is actually, it's an extension of what Genesis 10 gives us. Genesis 10 gives us the lineage of the sons of Moses, of Moses, his sons, excuse me, Noah, his sons, and their ancestors. But it only names Noah, his three sons, and then their sons. There's actually a, a much further lineage that is known, and that's called the Table of Nations. And where this comes from is what I've shown, that Magog is actually Turkey. Magog is Turkey in Asia Minor, which includes Iraq, Iran, in that general area. It's Asia Minor. That's actually what Magog and Gog is. And I chose this one. This is just a map. There's ancient maps. There's all these ancient maps 
but I chose this one because this one had a flaw in it. It actually has Gomer up here, but also puts Gomer down here also. But the better part is, see, it names Magog way up here, way up here, above Russia. This this is Russia. This is uninhabitable land. That's that's land that people won't eat, don't even live in because it's too freezing cold. <laughs> So that's the important part, that that's uh, Russia. This, Meshach, the one that was named specifically in Ezekiel 38 that would be Gog and Magog, this is accurate. That's actually what's called Georgia. That's a whole different country called Georgia. There's Tubal, and this is all Turkey. This is all Turkey. Uh, there's Tubal. There's Gomer. There's Togerma, Turkey. There, here it is, people. There it is. That's the region that is Gog and Magog. There it is, right there, people. There's Georgia. There's Russia. And remember, they had Magog, that other map, way up there above Russia. That's that's like the Arctic tundra. That's that's freezing, desolate places where that map had it. But this is it. Turkey, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to point out that Turkey's already made numerous threats. Uh, Turkey told Israel that it, if it ever does a preemptive strike against Iran, that they would blow Tur uh, Israel off the map because Obama gave them four nuclear weapons. What a lot of people don't remember is Barack Obama gave Turkey four nuclear missiles. They could launch easily launch those at Israel if Israel ever does a preemptive strike against Iran, is what they said. But there's Syria and Iraq. These are where all the people. So what happened was Japheth, <clears throat> and it's too much for me to get into the lineage. Japheth, who is the second son of Noah, hit Japheth's second son. He named. Magog, that was Japheth's second son. And then from his second son, you had these ones come out of it. Tubal, Meshach, Gomer, Togomor. That's, that's the descendants of Japheth's second son, who is Magog. And his descendants are the house of Gog. That's what they were called, the house of Gog. And there it was, ladies and gentlemen. All these so-called Bible scholars, they were named, and they can't even get that right. You have Gomer, Togerma, Meshach, Tubal, because Ezekiel 38 was written at the time when these people were in power. When these ancestors of Japheth and Noah were in power in what is now called, known as Turkey, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Georgia, not Russia. Russia's up here. So what happened with Russia is that's where the ten lost tribes of Israel escaped the Assyrians to. They, they crossed over the Caucasus mountains and that's how people became known as caucasians the ten lost tribes of israel that were escaping the assyrians in ancient days crossed the caucasus mountains and escaped into russia now you have people that are called caucasians that's how that name came to be they escaped over the caucasus mountains to escape being taken into captivity but here it is Tubal, Meshach, Gomer, Togomar. And the funny part, imagine this. Ancient days, there was a place called Media. Of all names, what are we having problems with in these days, ladies and gentlemen? Do we have Media Giants in these days? The Media Giants, like in the days of Noah, will be again. We're seeing all this stuff play out, replay out, many of these things. No accident that the media got its name, how the media got its name. Like in the days of Noah, they were giants and after. This was after. Y'all be sure to spread this message. God bless.